Kyle Lowry has been one of the most impactful point guards in basketball for the majority of his career. The Miami Heat bet on him retaining that distinction when acquiring Lowry from the Toronto Raptors before last season, hoping he could be the final piece of championship puzzle built around Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo. But Lowry has followed up one injury marred season with another in 2022-23, averaging a measly 12 points and 5.3 assists per game, shooting an ugly 39.6% from the field while dealing with nagging pain in his knee. He has been less involved in the offensive schemes of coach Eric Spolstra due to host struggle, even getting benched in the fourth quarter of certain close games. At 36, Lowry is well past his prime already, but still getting paid $28 million this year and $29 million next season. That kind of committed money could be tough to move before the February 9th trade deadline, but these three destinations could utilize Lowry on the court tremendously regardless. 3. LA Clippers the LA Clippers are the first veteran team that could maximize what is left of Kyle Lowry. They have needed help setting their offense as they are 23rd in offensive rating, which is unacceptable for any squad that wants to compete for a championship. In their Thursday night contest against the Milwaukee Bucks, their half-court offense was abysmal, a problem a composed table setter like Lowry could go a long way toward fixing. Kawhi Leonard and Paul George are elite scorers and remarkable defenders, but they are not floor generals. Even if Lowry's scoring numbers have plummeted, he will not need to score as much in LA's system because the team has a surplus of scorers on the roster. The Clippers would definitely benefit from his point guard skills and the commendable leadership he has shown throughout his career. 2. Dallas Mavericks After losing Jalen Brunson in the offseason, the Mavericks have been searching for another shot creator aside from Luka Doncic and Spencer Dinwiddie. Lowry would fit that billing because he can play behind Donich and Dinwiddie during the regular season, keeping him for more high-leverage minutes come playoff time. Compared to his role in Miami as the lead guard, Lowry would become more of a mentor to Donich and the rest of the crew. His defense would also be vital because the Mavs' perimeter defense relies heavily on Reggie Bullock and Josh Green. Dallas has the salary fillers to ship to Miami and needs a shakeup with a top-top roster. 1. Minnesota Timberwolves This is a feasible and plausible way for the Minnesota Timberwolves to move on from D'Angelo Russell. It has been evident that Russell is not an ideal long-term solution next to Anthony Edwards in the backcourt, so Lowry could be a bridge piece to the Timberwolves' point guard of the future. He is a terrific passer who would unlock Rudy Gobert through timely lobs and feed Carl Anthony Towns in perfect spots when he returns from his calf injury. Kyle Lowry would be Minnesota's fourth or fifth offensive option, no problem for a player who coaches have had to beg to shoot more at various times in his career. The tandem of Gobert and Towns in the frontcourt is questionable, but the organization is stuck with both guys on gigantic contracts. The Wolves can still acquire supplementary pieces to help the star big men better complement each other, a role for which Lowry is extremely well suited. Write your opinions in the comments, it's very important to us. Thanks, see you soon.